I've got Jeff Goodman with me, and on the other mic here in the studio at WGBV is someone who hosts a radio program right before mine at 9 o'clock on Sunday nights from 9 to 10 on this station. Hmm? How lucky for him. How lucky for him, ladies and gentlemen. His name is Rob Kowal, and he hosts a show called New York Hockey Talk. And um, I want to find out a little bit about it, because I, my brain has been out of hockey for a few years. I'm a big baseball fan, and um, I'm kind of a football fan, although watching the Jets this year is hard to be. But hockey, not really. I mean, the big year when the Islanders won everything, okay, I guess we were all Islander fans. And my dad kind of watches them, but not so into it. So I, I have got a hockey expert here. I figure I might as well pick his brain and, and um, make the most of it. So please welcome everyone, Rob Kowal to the neighborhood. Hey, Rob, how are you doing? All right, Dave. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for uh, for taking a few minutes out to just tell us something about your show, but also about what's going on in hockey in general, because I've been so out of the loop. So, first of all, how did your show come about? Uh, well, as you know, uh, myself and Steve Ucali did a show on sports in January and February earlier this year, and it kind of evolved, and after we finished that show, I decided to, to focus in one area, and what better area than hockey, Dave? Well, why? Hockey, Is hockey, hockey a big thing for you? Well, hockey is a huge thing for me, but hockey just doesn't get enough attention. You said it yourself, uh, you know, especially with baseball, the Yankees have a big game tonight, the yeah. Mets had a big run, so everyone's talking uh, baseball on the radio, but there is a lot of uh, hardcore fans out there that, that love the game of hockey that are just excited about hockey as you are about baseball, but they don't have the outlet to, to talk about or hear about their sport. Baseball is all over the radio, so I, I thought hockey would be a, a good place to go and, and talk each week about uh, all the New York teams, and you mentioned them a little bit earlier. Well, which is your team? Which is the team that you really... Um... Well, I grew up a Rangers fan for some reason. I, I, was, I grew up on Long Island, and of course I was a kid in the early 80s when the the Islanders were winning all the cups, so playing street hockey in the street, all my all my friends were were Islander fans. Okay, and unfortunately well, yeah. for me, I was a Ranger fan. But uh, but I, I don't quite know how that happened. But I, I'm a big Ranger fan, and I still am today. But even more than the Rangers, I'm just a fan of the game. It's a great game. It's a great sport. Uh, I'll watch just about any hockey game that comes on the radio. It's a it's an exciting, fast moving game. Uh, I enjoy talking about it. We have a couple of good guests coming on this evening. Uh, so it, it's a great sport that doesn't get enough attention. Well, okay, what do you like? Is it the fights, or do you just like the skating, or do you like the... Well, that, that's the thing. It's not just the fighting. It's just the combination of all the different elements. Uh, you know, baseball, it's very difficult to hit a ball, okay? That's that's the big challenge. And hockey, you're doing several things at once. You not only have to have the eye-hand coordination and the reflexes to play the game, you also have to be a great skater. Well, yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of different elements. You have to be tough. There are big guys running you over out there. You have to be strong. So there are a lot of different elements to the game of hockey that kind of all come into one uh, into one sport. And for those that love the game, they can really appreciate the, the players that play it at such a high level, particularly at the National Hockey League level. So who's the best player around now? Who's uh... Well, right now, some of the young guys on, on uh, Pittsburgh, Sidney Crosby comes to mind. He's only, I think he's 20 years old. Maybe he turned 21 this year. Uh, Alex Ovechkin for the Washington Capitals is another guy that's that's young, and these two guys in particular come to mind that are going to be the the face of the National Hockey League for the next ten years. Uh, they're great talents. They're strong. They have a lot of skill. They're exciting to watch. Um, so I would say those two guys right now are probably uh, some of the more up and coming superstars in the league. And as far as the uh, the local teams, since you know we're kind of a New York based show. Sure. What do you predict for the Islanders and the Rangers? And Well, they're in New Jersey, but if you must mention the Devils. Well, I mean, the Islanders have a lot of new faces. They lost a lot of guys in free agency in the offseason. Um, so they, if they do, the best case scenario probably for the Islanders is if they, they make the playoffs. Um, they could be in the basement of the, of the conference this, this season. Uh, it's just a big unknown. They have a lot of new guys. They're off to a great start. Uh, they've won their first two games against Buffalo. Uh, a lot of the new guys have done well, so that's encouraging for Islander fans, and hopefully the Islanders will be able to fight uh, for a playoff spot going into the end of the year. Uh, the the Devils, they, they lost a couple of guys, Brian Rafalski. Um, they have a lot of good young players. They have one of the best goalies in the league in Martin Brodeur. They always seem to find a way. Every time you think they're going to take a step back, they always seem to find a way to be competitive. Uh, they're always a great playoff team because of their defense and goaltending, so I would expect the same from the Devils. 
Um, and the Rangers right now, this, this season, with the two guys that they picked up, the two big free agent signings in Chris Drury and Scotty Gomez, uh, most, most of the major publications are picking the Rangers to do extremely well this year. Uh, not only maybe make the Stanley Cup, but they certainly have an excellent chance of, of going all the way this year. So Ranger fans are particularly excited about the season coming up this year. Very cool. Jeff, I know you're, you're something of a sports fan. Are you at all a hockey fan? Are you into um, that? <laughs> what? There's a snore from Jeff about hockey. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you're not a hockey fan, Jeff? No, not at all. Oh, oh, oh dear. But I was around where the, when the Islanders got all those rings. Well, yeah. Were I'm... you a fan back then? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just turn Jeff's microphone down for a little while. No, but... Well, no, <laughs> if you were to con- try and convince Thanks someone... Thanks for being a yeah. guest. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> but if you were... Uh, well, Jeff, yeah. have you ever... Have you got, when's the last time you went, if ever, to a hockey game? Never. Never. Well, that's that's part of the problem right there. A lot of people say watching it on TV is what kind of turns them off to it, although with the... The coming I've of it turned off to the, the, just the violence of the game. Really? Well, but that, that's one element of the game. There's, if you go to a hockey game, what I was going to say is with the, with the advent of HDTV, it's a little bit uh, easier to watch. But if you go to a game, if you go to Madison Square Garden for a Rangers-Islanders game, you can feel the electricity and the excitement in the air. I, I guarantee you'll enjoy it if you go, especially if you've never gone to a game. Well, you have Dave to knows I have a pretty darn good TV. <laughs> That's true. He's got one of these big old... He, he won a TV on um, not Wheel of Fortune, right. the, the, the Price of <laughs> Right. Right. And it's this giant, like, 70-something right. inch massive monster. He actually had to knock out walls on both sides of his house. So it's, but I'm saying to feel the yeah. excitement, if you're not a fan... I would say go to Madison Square Garden for a Ranger Islander game. Go to a game uh, and experience it, and uh, you might surprise yourself. You might become a fan. Really? No, um, it's worth a and shot. You've never been. To, uh, I mean, you've never have been. Have you to ever a gone game. to a hockey game, David? Well, yeah. Um, actually, I have to say, I have to admit, I did go to a. Um, I think it was an Islander. Game. Maybe it was a Ranger game because it would have been easy to get to uh, Madison Square Garden. And I fell asleep in the second period. Oh, Dave, I really Dave. did. I can't believe that. I mean, this is How many years was ago. This? this is that was probably my twenties. You were probably was... drinking back then. I saw the ice capades. Me? <laughs> <laughs> the ice capades. This is ice capades with blood. That's basically. I, no, yeah. but I wanted to go, and I, I was. I would have I mean, rooted really, for they, the home team. Hmm? I mean, the, how what kind of game is it where they can? Put some guy's head in your armpit and then bash the crap out of him. No. Well, you don't like boxing either? I hate boxing. Oh, okay. You really got to appreciate the finer points of the game. It's not just all dropping the gloves. You know, that that's kind of one of the sad things about the sport is that that's well, the only press it seems it? to it's get. Is it, it makes the news when there's a big fight or someone swings a stick at someone. People that don't follow the sport see that in the news. Well, really, that's a really small percentage. That only happens a small percentage of the time well, in the game. All the hockey players have no teeth. <laughs> well, it is. It's a physical game. You got to be tough to play the sport, but it's not. They're just bashing their head. Uh, heads against the football players have teeth. <laughs> um, they're probably on their fifth uh, in the off season. They get new caps. Let me tell you, football players get beat up pretty pretty yeah. much too. It's a, it's a different kind of a sport, but it's such a fast moving game. It's nonstop action. There's no waiting in between pitches, or it's just constant action. Uh, yeah. Hockey players are some of the best athletes in in the world. You have but to be in tremendous I have to shape. Tell you that in, in, in all fairness, I must tell you, I don't enjoy basketball either. So yeah, well, basketball can get it's kind of boring like until the last quarter. Player. Yeah, no, he's well, he's a baseball and football fan. But and yeah. I will give you this also about the television thing because I was not into soccer in any way, shape, or form, even during the Pele years. And then we were in Canada about a year and a half ago, and we had this nice hotel room, this big TV, and the World Cup was on. And there was a World Cup madness everywhere you went. Right, I remember that. And so I was like, all right, let me tune in. And seeing it on a big screen and kind of away from America and New York, I got caught up in it. I was like, whoa, this is a pretty cool game. And now that's a lot slower. I mean, the field is so large. Yeah. With, with the National Hockey League, the rank is a lot smaller. The players are moving a lot faster. It's a lot more end-to-end action in hockey. And here you enjoyed soccer, which is you know exciting in its own way. But really, nothing compares to a National Hockey League game. Now, I really, you guys really got to go to a game. Who's your favorite player of all time? My favorite player of all time? I don't know if I had to pick one. I was well, a big fa- Canadians, right? The Montreal Canadiens? Well, that's no, no, team. they're all Canadians. So well, they used to, you know, 10, 15 years ago, 60% of the league was Canadian. But now, 
a lot of these players now are European, so I don't know what the percentage is now, but I know the percentage of Canadian players in the National Hockey League is less than it was, say, 15 years ago because there's been such an influx of European players. But, but I mean, getting back to the question, who's my favorite player, there's, there's a lot of guys I, I root for. I don't know if there's one in particular that I, that I would call my favorite, uh, although I was a big fan of, uh, of Adam Graves because he's just such a good guy on and off the ice. He's an easy guy to root for. I, I uh, can't he, say I've ever who he played for. Adam Graves, he played for the New York Rangers. He was on the team when they won the Stanley oh. Cup in 1994. Okay. Um, how about th- how about those USA Olympians? So oh, that whole that famous them. thing. Well, the, the, you're Michael talking Ruzzioli about the 1980 team? Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, you're going back quite a way now. I mean, I was what, yeah, yeah, nine I was years old. <laughs> I mean, I, I vaguely I was nine years old when that happened. But I mean, that of course was uh, hockey was in the in the center and forefront uh, during that run because at, at that time, if you want to go back to 1980, the American team was a bunch of amateurs playing against a Russian team that was. All professionals. These guys were older, bigger, yeah. stronger, and that's what made it so exciting. And, and people don't realize that the, the game that you always see replayed when they when they beat the Russians, that's not the gold medal winning game. They had to still come back and play in in the finals the next day and 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 win the gold medal. People don't realize that all the time. Right. They eliminated the Russians. That's right. That's right. Well, wow. the Russians were silver medalists. And, and actually, no, they. I they mean, bronze medalists. Yeah, yeah. I, that's right. We are talking with Rob Kowal. He is the host of New York Hockey Talk at 9 p.m. on Sunday. So if you miss him this evening, then uh, you know make sure you catch him before my show. Dave's gone by every Sunday night. I'm on at 11. He, oh, well, actually, Jeff and I go on at 10.30, and then there's a show at 10 o'clock. But from 9 to 10, sorry to make this complicated, folks, you can hear Rob Kowal, New York Hockey Talk. Talk. And so who are some of the um, upcoming guests, not this week, but in weeks ahead that you're hoping to have on? Well, in the weeks ahead, uh, it, it's week to week right now. There are some guys that I have talked to that uh, I'm in touch with that uh, I'm hoping to get on. Ken Janander is one I'm hoping to get on next Rod week. Jill Bear. Rod Jill Bear. You know, anything's possible. Like I said, I do everything for this show myself, from, from running the website to booking the guests to interviewing the guests. So... It's a lot of stuff to do, not to mention the fact that I have a full-time job during the day. Well, you call but abroad and you tell him Jeff said be on the show. Yeah, that'll get me. That'll get me anyone I want on. I, I just mentioned so. your name. Yeah, and they get a free balloon. Well, hey, <laughs> you know, tonight we'll have uh, Pierre Turgeon. Do you know who Pierre Turgeon is? He's nope. going to be on the show tonight. He played for the Islanders back uh, during their run in '93 to the conference finals. Um, Islander fans certainly remember who he is. And then, do you archive your shows? I mean, after their. Yeah, actually, if you go to nyhockeytalk.com, all past broadcasts of the show are available to be played from the website and downloaded. And not only that, I break up the shows individually in interviews, too. So, for instance, if you're only interested in hearing an interview uh, about someone that has to do with the devils, let's say, you can go to that section of the website and, and listen to segments of past shows that are, are relevant to the devils and so forth. So, yeah, all, all past shows are, are available on the website, nyhockeytalk.com. nyhockeytalk.com. And we are talking hockey with Rob Cole. I want to thank you, Rob, for being part of this program. I want to wish you best of luck with your show. What is the name of this program, Dave? Well, Dave's gone by. What else? So, you know, I'll call everything Dave's gone by. <laughs> so, thanks so much. Okay, Dave, thanks for having me. And thanks also, Jeff, for hanging out with us I've got to get to the rink and see a hockey game for me. I'll come on in a couple of weeks. You, you'll go to a game. Give us a free ticket. We'll go. <laughs> <laughs> go. Go to the Nassau Coliseum. You get some tickets there. Yeah, sure, sure. I'll just beg outside with a, a begging bowl and a cup <laughs> and some pencils. A begging bowl? Oh, I don't know. Well, not you have a begging bowl? Um, I'll be like a monk. I'll be a monk who doesn't need food because mm, you know, I'm pretty right. good with food. But uh, I'll go around in sackcloth and... and uh, and pray. I'll pray for anybody who gives me a hockey ticket. That's that, but you'll be a Jewish monk. <laughs> a schmunk. There you go. All right, fellas. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Rob.